I do like a claw hand, like I feel like I went like this. I'm trying to say something cool and it's not working out. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So we've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and I thought I would just go over mainly what I wore for my sister's wedding last weekend, which was so beautiful, and thank you so much for all the congratulations for them. It was a beautiful wedding. It was such a fun day. Um, but I thought I would just kind of go over what makeup I wore for her wedding, and then also I've kind of been reaching for this, these things all week. So, like one thing I didn't wear at the wedding, but... Well, a couple things I didn't, but most of them, I'm going to talk about what I wore at the wedding, but then a couple other things thrown in. So let's get to it. On my eyes for the wedding, I did a little combo of these palettes, the Urban Decay Naked 3 and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. So I do have both of these on my eyes today. Mainly the Naked 3, I used it for the, let me get it open, the transition shades. So like Limit and you can't even see that, like the matte colors. Limit and Nooner. I like those for, I don't know, kind of those like, I wanted to do kind of like a pinky burgundy peachy sort of an eye look because my dress was like a pinky peach, mostly peach kind of a color, really close to my lip color. So anyway, I just really like the blending shades in the Naked 3. I mean, I like all of them. I think it's very like just bridal looking anyway. So but those are the ones that I wore. And I think I might have done a little bit of the darkest shade, which is Blackheart. Let me show you that one real quick. Let me get that on my finger here to show you a little swatch. So that one is super pigmented. So I think I did do a little bit of that in my outer corner. I didn't do that today, but I think at the wedding I did. So those are the ones I wore from the Naked 3. And then from the Modern Renaissance palette, which I just love this palette. Every time I use it, I just fall more in love with it. It is such good quality. I can't get over this palette. I mean, I know that you've probably heard everybody talk about it and everybody rave about it, but it really is incredible. So I did just a little bit of Venetian Red and just a little bit of Love Letter and just a little bit of Cypress Umber. I mean, these shadows, you just barely have to like tap your finger in them because they are so pigmented, but I mean, they just blend like butter. So they're pigmented, but they're easy to work with too. But a little bit goes a long way. Like I just put a little bit of this one in my crease today. And I mean, I just used the tiniest amount and it was plenty. So like just barely tapped my brush, used a little kind of pointed crease brush, put it in um, the crease in my eyes, and that was it. But I mean, look at those shadows. Just look at them. Those are pretty. Oh my gosh, super duper pigmented, just beautiful, easy to work with. And I also chose this palette to wear because it wears really well. Like I found that these shadows just stay so vibrant and beautiful throughout the day. So it was a long day, you know, a wedding day is a long day. So I wanted it to last and it totally did. And then on my lids, I just mentioned this a couple weeks ago, so I'm not gonna go too in depth about it, but this is the Mustave Color Powder Moonlight and this is in Champagne. This is such a gorgeous, like peachy champagne sort of a pigment. And like if you use this one with some MAC Fix Plus, I mean, you got a pretty, I look and it goes so well with those kind of like burgundy pinky sort of colors it's gorgeous and it has a little bit of I feel like this doesn't swatch well every time I try to swatch it for you guys it's like that doesn't look that impressive but on my eyes I stink and love it like that just looks like what that's not exciting but on the eyes it's very exciting so I don't even know, don't mind the swatch, just look at my eyeballs because on my lids it looks really pretty. So if you use it with MAC Fix Plus, I mean it just like kicks it up a notch and it's just this beautiful champagne peachy sort of a color with some glitter mixed in. It's incredible. If you're wondering what's on my nails, I got a gel manicure. So I don't know what this is. So I don't know what to tell you. I, I'm not sure what it is. It's some kind of a light pinky color. For blush this week, I wore this before the wedding, so I didn't actually wear this at the wedding, but I was enjoying it this week. 
This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Peaceful. And this is one that I've kind of like forgotten about and overlooked for a long time, but it's really, really beautiful. It's, I don't know, just kind of like a peachy sort of a color. I love that their packaging matches the blush inside. It just makes it super easy to grab for and I love it. Now this one I have like the old packaging where it was like the swirly. I don't think it still has that. So, cause I've had this for a long time, but yeah, it's just a beautiful kind of like glowy, corally peach sort of a color. It's beautiful. It's got that sheen to it. So really, I mean, this would be super duper fun like in the spring and summer, but I mean fall too. I think it looks so pretty with those kind of warm tones. And even this eye look, it looks really nice paired with that. I'm not wearing it today, but it would totally work. And these wear like iron. So I totally could have worn this on the wedding day because it would have worn really, really well, but I didn't, I wore something else. But I did wear this this week and really enjoyed it. The blush I wore for the wedding is NARS's Deep Throat, which I have a little tiny cute one. Um, and this is fairly similar to Peaceful. I'm wearing it today. This one is kind of like, I think of it as like sort of the more wearable, subdued version of orgasm because orgasm is very, why did I do like a claw hand? Like, I feel like I went like this, like a claw hand at ya. Um, I feel like um, Nars's orgasm is very like shimmery and kind of over the top, but beautiful. I love that one. I think it's a beautiful blush. This one is just more subtle and it's kind of like that peachy pink Again, I feel like it's one that doesn't swatch very well, but it's really, really pretty on the skin and it wore well. I feel like it has this like, just like a subtle glow to it. So it's really, really beautiful. It makes your skin look really pretty um, because it's just got that subtle glow. that's not over the top and metallic, but just a little bit of a glow. It just makes your skin look kind of healthy and you know, that color, that like peachy, pinky sort of color is so pretty again paired with these sort of colors on the eyes. I also wore this highlight for the wedding. I love this highlight. This is so beautiful. This is technically a blush. This is the e.l.f. Baked Blush in Pinktastic. This is beautiful. And I feel like it's just one of those highlights that goes so gorgeously well with those kind of peachy, burgundy, pinky, did I say that? Peachy, pinky, burgundy. Those were all the colors I was trying to say, but I feel like it goes really well with those sort of shades because it is like a champagne peach. It's beautiful. It is so pretty, such amazing quality. I mean, I would love this if this was $25. So it just makes it even more incredible because it's like $3. So Amazing quality, so pigmented, blends like a dream on the skin, wears super well throughout the day. It's just awesome. I mean, I love this little thing. And of all the highlighters, this is what I wanted to wear for her wedding because I think it's just so gorgeous and kind of like my go-to peachy sort of a highlight. For lips this week, I did not wear this to the wedding, but I wore it before the wedding and just love it so much. This is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick and this is in Americano. Now this is the old packaging, but this color just, I mean, makes me so happy and feel like super edgy, fall, just, I don't even know. Just all the edgy fall vibes, vibes, feels, edgy fall feels. I'm trying to say something cool and it's not working out. <laughs> but it's just a gorgeous, like, warm brown, like a ready brown or something. It's so cool. It's like a rusty brown. It's amazing. I love it. Oh, these set really well, but then they do have a little bit of transfer, but with that, they're a lot more comfortable. Just amazing. Love the quality of these, but love, 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 love this color. It gives me all the vibes, feels, whatever I was trying to say earlier and failed miserably. <laughs> and then on my lips for the wedding, I did this combo right here. So this is part of a set from YBF Beauty. You get this, 
and also the gloss. Um, this is from HSN, and last time I looked, it was still on there, which I love this set. I've talked about it before. I mean, the bling just makes me happy. It is just like glued on because my gloss is kind of starting to like come up. So, I mean, it's not like they're individually placed on there, but it still makes me happy because they're cute and girly and sparkly and just a fun time. So the lipstick is Peachy Keen Pink Lipstick. And it's just a beautiful, I don't know, kind of like, kind of like a pinky peach, but it's pretty bright, which I think is really, really pretty. Um, so it's got that like brightness to it. It's a really nice cream finish. Um, really like it. Not super duper forgiving if your lips are a little bit chapped. So just kind of know that about it. You might want to put a gloss over it or something or really exfoliate your lips really well. Um, but just a beautiful peachy tone. And then over the top of that, I wore this Tarte Lip Sculptor Lipstick and Lip Gloss, and this is in Basic. So I first wore the lipstick over it. So let me show you a swatch of like just the lipstick by itself. It's kind of like a peachy nude. And then I'll put a little bit over um, the other lipstick. So it really doesn't change it a ton. Like there it is by itself, and there's the lipstick, but the other lipstick by itself, not by itself, layered with it. What am I trying to say? Here's this one by itself, and there it is layered over the other one I just showed you. <laughs> so you can see basically like what I had for the wedding. So there they are together. So it just lightens it just the tiniest little bit, not by a lot, but still really, really pretty. I love this by itself as well. It's just a gorgeous, like I said, peachy sort of a nude. And then I wore the gloss over it, which is a really pretty nude gloss. Um, and this is less peachy and just straight up, well, nope, scratch that, that's a lie. It's kind of a peachy, kind of a peachy warm toned sort of a gloss. So the gloss is right there in the middle and then there it is over that. So you can see all the situations. So they're all beautiful individually, but layered together, they're really gorgeous too. And this pretty much like matched my dress super well because it was kind of like an underlay of like a bright peachy color and then it had kind of a lighter um lacy overlay does that make sense the underlay was like a bright peach and then the overlay was kind of a light muted peach anyway i have pictures on instagram if you're curious and i was posting on snapchat and stuff so that was the combo that i wore for my lips for the wedding all right guys so those are all my favorites for this week so i hope that you really enjoyed this video please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have i'm happy to answer those please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i'll see you in my next video bye